Hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I'm over in a newer master plan community called Sky Hills. It is on the, in the northwest part of the valley, just, um, it would be west of Providence master plan community. And they have a couple new builders. They have this Beezer community, which is Sage Reserve and I think Sage Point, yes but we are looking at Sage Reserve, and Sage Reserve has five different models, uh, floor plans to choose from, three are on display here, and it looks like for the most part, all the homes in this community are single story minus the one two-story home. So this is the Everett floor plan, and the Everett can have an option for a loft, so the square footage is anywhere between 2544 to 2736, um, with three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms and this one has the two car garage this is neat that they have this for your packages give the combo to ups or amazon or whoever they can place it in there for so you don't have package theft it is a gated community and the hoa is 87 dollars a month and the sids are roughly 35 dollars a month so this is a pretty big single story it looks like they made this into the loft for the model so when you walk in you have two bedrooms to the left and um, a shared bathroom it's a good size and these I bet you are probably all the things in this house I bet you are standard options that come with Beezer I've never sold a Beezer home but from what I'm looking at in these model homes, I don't see anything that's like a wow factor when it comes to upgrades. I think what you see is what you get. I could be absolutely wrong. There was no one in the office for me to talk to. Um, and this looks like your standard tub shower insert, your builder grade insert. So to me, I think, like I said, like this carpet, everything looks very builder grade-ish. I'm not sure if you have the option to select better options i'm sure you do i don't know i don't know how beezer really works let me know in the comments if you know anything more about beezer so then you come to the right and you have the garage and a den which probably could be converted into the fourth bedroom and then let's see they have a map right here i do like that they have a map so it can tell you Oh, this is the kitchen so the study so yeah I guess no one two and study that stays a study in the kitchen you have two different choices when it comes to the island and the placement of the oven um, let's take a view we'll go up to the loft area I'm not a fan of odd shaped islands even if it was this shape, I would not be a fan. I'm a very straight person. I understand that they're trying to like angle it to get the view of the rest of the house. But for me, eh, I would pass. Now this looks like, you know, this is granite countertops. I like the big basin sink. But to me, this looks like all generic things that come with the house. Nothing like spectacularly upgraded items. And then at least you do have a nice walk-in pantry. When you buy new construction, the whole house comes carpeted minus the kitchen, laundry room, and bathrooms. All the wet areas have tiles. Everywhere else is carpeted. If it were me, I would get the whole house tiled or engineered hardwoods or vinyl plank flooring. And if I had to have carpeting, I would just keep it in the bedrooms, kind of like how this is. I would not have the whole house carpeting. No one likes carpeting here in Vegas. It'll be a hard sell when you have to resell your home. Laundry room, smart panel. When you have to resell your home, people are going to be like, I don't want to have to tear out that carpeting. Um, you know, the, I think most people are okay with carpeting in the bedrooms. But if you had the money and you were to... I would make sure same flooring throughout. You can always get an area rug, which is super easy to change out. It's a good size primary. And then let's see, linen closet right there. It's a good size um, bathroom. <laughs> and again, they use this the the low end 
quartz. This is like the, the bottom of the bottom quartz. And this is a nice combo though with the double vanity and the um, quartz countertops again. And this looks like a big closet, but there's this has no nothing on it. So I think it's not, the space isn't utilized properly. And I bet you, yep, you have an option of, like the other houses, you have an option of either having the one large shower or have the shower tub combo in this house. So let's go take a peek upstairs. Let's see what this loft is all about. Oh. They put another bedroom up here with the loft. That's kind of cool. I actually like that. So this one is modeled as the bigger bigger model at over 2,700 square feet because you have a full bathroom here now or three quarters bath. And then you have a bedroom upstairs. That's nice. Be kind of cool for... Um, guests that are staying they can make it their living area or a teenage kid they can have a living room their own space whatever it's nice to have a loft so to surmise this is the Everett and it is one story or it could be two stories with a loft and a bedroom and full bathroom upstairs it comes with three to four bedrooms two and a half to three baths and a two-car garage um, I don't have pricing because there was no one here the sales well the salesperson was with a client and he stated that they don't have the pricing sheet so I will write it in the comments down below or the description down below how much these homes are um, if you've ever bought a Beezer home let me know what your experiences was when you bought and make sure that you call me if you're thinking about buying in this community at 702 three seven zero five one one two i'm gonna wrap it up see you guys on the next one make sure you subscribe